Good morning. I'm so bummed my van is a complete disaster today. Otherwise, I could be sleeping out in this wonderful rain. I love wonderful rain. Now, it's so weird I don't have that giant wizard beard anymore. I gotta do some trim in here, but. Um, I wish I would just wasn't fat faced. I could just shave it all off. <laughs> Left on the edge of a mountain tonight I'll sleep on Sunset Strip Next week it's down on Cocoa Beach And then back on the road in Route 666 Tennessee. Let me give you the story of the Beetlejuice spider. Yes, it's as terrifying as you think it is. We saw it one day hanging here, and it was actually eating a beetle, now that I think about it, which is actually still down on the ground over here, somehow. And it was eating a beetle, and it was about that big, and it had black and white legs like Beetlejuice. Uh, I was terrified of it. Julie, uh, Vinny's wife, was uh, tried to kill it and it crawled back up into the ceiling, which is also terrifying to know it's up there because I'm sleeping right there. Anyway, um, <laughs> came out the next day, I go right through a web and it's right here, like in mouth distance. Like I was like, oh, you know, and yeah, it was horrible. So I, uh, first I was gonna light it on fire. I have a little but butane torch, you know, I was like, then I thought maybe it gets on fire, then it crawls into the ceiling and then you have a fiery spider burn the whole house down bad idea so it's got this old dirty red towel i found over here threw it on him he went into the ground and i stepped on his ass we have not had a single spider web that we've walked through because every day you would come out here and walk through spider webs and it's the worst but we've not had a single one since so that guy ruled this whole domain that was this was his house uh this portion of the house i've not seen another spider i've not seen anything so i've saved a lot of bug lives I've saved a lot of walking through webs, which is the worst. And I've saved uh, a lot of nightmares uh, for this family and myself. By killing that spider, Beetlejuice spider. I love storms, I do. If I was tired, I'd just go in the van and nap. Look at the food city lights at night. Good presentation, people. Unbelievably. I'm up in Knoxville. We had to do a pickup shot at the Chatterbox where we shot the concert. Unbelievably, I need one more watermelon. I've spent more money on watermelons on this trip than I have on any other food item, period. Looks a lot different without us weirdos making a big mess here. So one thing I've learned, rolling bands is a major thing in making a movie. These lights give off something called rolling bands. No, they're not bands that roll down the street like Hugs did on this very stage. Rolling bands is a uh, wavy things. My camera hates these kind of fluorescent bulbs. So I'm going to film, which I have already filmed a bunch of stuff with this very phone, but we have to doctor it up later to make it look like it's not on a phone, which is easy to do, but still. 
we're not expecting to win Oscars. We're not expecting, you know, millions and millions of dollars in theaters worldwide whatsoever. Uh, I'm hoping for a good turnout on a side TV and I'm hoping for a good streaming turnout and some good DVD sales. And by good, industry standards, I mean, terrible, but you know, good enough for us. Keep it down. Uh, get out like you're gonna like park it and everything. Do all the parking things. Take the, then take the key out to walk. You made it, man! You made it. Three, two, go. Did you have fun working on the movie? Oh man. I always have fun. It's me. You can put me in an empty room and I'm having a blast. You Let's know. do that. Let's get him in an empty room. We'll film him next time. Just him having I'm like a blast. A cat. If there's just a piece of paper on the floor, I'll sit on it. <laughs> I'll turn the light off. Cool. Well, hug it out. Hug it out, Appreciate bitch. you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. This place again. Goodness. Seriously, dude, you got to stop taking all my money. I've been here like 10 times, you know? I mean, what else do you want from me, Bucky? So bright in here. Thankfully, I'm heading northeast where there's no Bucky's. So it will be special again until I head south later this month or in two months. The itinerary is pretty crazy right now of what's going to happen over the next few months. So hopefully the van stays good and I stay good and yeah. Again, we are an hour away from that man's house. As you can see by the shirts, we are filming more today. We are at the Bear Creek checking station, where if you go there, what will happen to your ass? I'm pretty much... Check your ass, come on. No, no, no. You, you're fine now. What is this? Not the case. Ensuring what goes here stays here. Bear Creek checking your ass station. It used to say passes right there, but it no longer does. Check your password. This old telephone box. Can you make phone calls? It's probably spider. I see three of them already. Ooh. Yes, I am wearing a black and gray shirt. Oh, shit. Plans? I don't have any plans. You got the wrong number, lady. Take that off the wall real quick. I want that. It's a spider haven over here. I don't think I'm good. Spider! What if they light those up sometimes? A little bulb in it, but whatever. All right, this is where we're filming an alien scene, apparently. That's cool. What do they got down here? The historic Grove Theater. It's so historic. I've never heard of it. Beginning of the end, the story of the atomic bomb. We are in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, which was... Uh... Oh, that's awesome. Where's that? Huh. Oak Ridge was where they uh, stored and enriched plutonium or uranium or something for the nuclear bomb. So they call this the Atomic City. Right over there is Atomic City Computers. Wow. What a shithole. Very interesting. Cool. Love me some theaters. There's a smaller one I think we're going to. Oh, for next door. Oh, this isn't small at all. Well, I'm so sorry. when you look at it, it's, it's way smaller than that. Yeah, but it's this huge. It's, yeah. I was thinking like a little room. Relative. That's really cool. Okie dokie. Found a room right there. We're going to do this filming. I don't know where Vinny's at. Like, seriously, I have no idea. <laughs> Hope he didn't get mugged or something. <laughs> no life. Uh, oh my god. Two. Alien, wake up and be shocked. What? Oh. Huh. oh no. Oh no, I've heard about this. Hello? No. No, no. 
You don't want anything back there, I'll promise you that. So now we are outdoors. Getting ready to shoot something else that has to be dark. But this little guy. Rawr, rawr. He's going to sting um, Benny's dick. The movie just gets weirder. The other guy out there is Danny. He's going to play a magician that's in the middle of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> I am trying to figure out how to make this sting Vinny's dick without somebody's hand being in the way. This will be in the movie Hall of Fame. Place your bids now. No, wait, 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 wait. Is that it? No, sir, please. Actually, I'll tell you what. Uh, the scorpion. Where the scorpion stung you. Yeah? Here. Let's check there. Wait a minute. Pieces at the bookstore. Only in Arizona, man. The pocket thing again here? Nope. Okay. Three, two, go. Now, wait a minute. You said something's wrong with your dick. <sighs> Check this out. Good morning, everybody, and it is a good morning. I've showered, brushed my teeth, took my vitamins, made coffee. Still before 10 o'clock. <laughs> my waking up at 6 a.m. thing and when I'm stationary is just not happening, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. I am off to Sevierville, Tennessee, because I got to return a bunch of stuff that I didn't use. Like uh, makeup and wigs and stuff like that. The Party City. I'm going to go to Ross, return those ridiculous pants that I bought for the concert. And then um, I'm going to make a little uh, something for Vinny and Julie to commemorate my stay in this film. Yeah. pants which are now a part of rock and roll history and now we return all the stuff we didn't use and hopefully they take these wigs back too because they were not cheap oh, i like party city all right i got 90 dollars put back onto my card and on top of that i got 10 dollars in store credit to which i could buy this chicken egg. People can call me chicken head. I feel like this could be a lot of fun for about maybe twice, two times. One minute of fun total. It's only two dollars. Two dollar, two dollar number two. Now I get it. <laughs> Still like that guy. Not for 50 bucks, but I like him. These are all 50 dollars. What the hell? A little expensive there, Party City. Okay, I bought a soft foam crowbar for Vinny. You may need it someday for a movie. It's pretty neat, actually. It looks really good. And I got a uh, board game, a blockbuster board game that they can play as a family. Keep these kids off the screens, you know. Kidding. And uh, now I'm at the hobbyist of lobbies. I'm gonna make a shadow box for this shirt, which was featured prominently in the movie. Add some pictures. That card sucks. That card sucks. All right, here we 
Here we go antiquing again. Action Antiques, Sevierville. All right, I found a giant flea market in somewhere, I have no idea where, Tennessee. Everybody's walking this way. Got the obligatory Asian market out here full of cheap Asian things. This is pretty cool. I love stuff like this. It's a little trumpy here, but it's uh, cool nonetheless. A little bit of something for everybody. Good for him. There's a bunch of stuff out here too. I got a ton of stuff. Huh. Pretty sweet. Got the vineyard's daughter, Greta, a little something. And, uh, spent 10 bucks 10 bucks is acceptable i gotta start saving big time for this trip big time there's the hugs concert that's when we were in the group 66 there's that's also so paloma awesome. Arizona. that's beautiful man is that cool how much do mm -hmm. you think i can sell this on ebay for probably a good well, what did I pay for? <laughs> Let's get the movie out first. Take the pictures out and the shirt out. It'll be worth at least. <laughs> It'll be worth more if we took that out. No, man, it's awesome, dude. We gotta find a, a prominent spot. Eat your boo. Eat your boo, 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 boo. Tonight I made delicious pork chops, hash brown casserole, and broccoli. Also, for afters, some brownies. And now. It's 11 o'clock at night, and we're going to go to Cracker Barrel, not to sleep this time, but to film an important spot, the last spot. Actually, there's one little quick 30-second thing in the morning, but yeah, and that's it. Wrapped. Better not. No, we are not listening to Neon Sign anymore. That led me straight to a psychopath. Pause. And go. <laughs> no disco hug. One more time. Yeah. I'm trying to find, get rid of these streaks in the background. God damn. There's lens flares like all over you and it sucks. Don't move your head, just kind of walk and go down with you. Is that what you're going to do? Okay, three, two, and go. <laughs> and whenever you're ready. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'ma beat you like X. Hug it out, bitch! <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> he has a mission. You can sting any part of my body, just not the dick. Ow! Ow! 
You bathed me? And I shaved you back. Fuck! Oh! God bless America. And fuck you, Route 66. <laughs>